was on your recent win. Tell us about the lamp and what you walked away with. Yeah, very excited about what we want at the lamp. Trail Dance Film Festival is a top 25 film festival, and one of the reasons I really like it is because it's uh, one of the only film festivals here in, in Oklahoma that is na you know, recognized nationally. Uh, we won Best Feature, which is always exciting because it's in its category, and then we won uh, Best Actress by Cameron Chenapel, who is now 12 years old. At the time we shot the movie, she was uh, just over 10, and uh, I think she's got a big career coming because she's very talented and then uh, we won best of festival which to me is my favorite film, my favorite award because it's the best out of 260 odd applicants who uh, tried out for the film festival so uh, it's the judges panel coming together and saying we believe this is the best film of this festival so yeah I was very excited about it I uh, always like to win awards you know you can hand it to me it's right there I'll show it to everybody this one right here? yeah I have one my partner Jim Stowell has one here we go <laughs> This is the best of festivals in frame. My, my frame. That is awesome. What's next for Trost? Uh, we are, you know, I guess, you know, what is next for Trost Moving Pictures? Um, we're trying to redefine uh, the independent film industry. Things are changing. And these are one of the things I think that you know a lot about because of the industry, the way communication is changing with, with companies, with individuals, with celebrities, with politicians, uh, social media, social marketing, Twitters, Facebooks, uh, that kind of thing is defining the way we communicate nowadays. Uh, people get to following a star and the reason they do that is because they feel like they've become to know this person. People get to follow an author or a politician or somebody else like that and you feel like you're in the know because because you are, quote unquote, a friend of this person. Uh, most of our marketing and the way that we've reached our audience and built our audience is through social networking, through Twitter, through Facebook, uh, online stuff, online downloads, VOD, and the such. Uh, I really believe the future of movie making, uh, the future of, especially in the independent world, is uh, going to be creating an audience. And that that theme can cross many different platforms, and it's that way in, in business. Um, Netflix, I don't remember how many 20 million odd users, uh, they're coming up with original programming now. Why are they doing that? They already have the audience, and now they have data, and data is king nowadays. That's the other thing that we we gain with the social marketing, we gain with, with uh, internet marketing, is we can market, and then we can track our data and, and see the trends and see what key things are motivating people to react or to respond to something. Uh, Netflix says, okay, uh, you know, we get, you know, 15 million hits on Arrested Development every month, so evidently people like Arrested Development, so what do they do? They contact the Arrested Development people and they relaunch the show and do a deal, and if you're subscribed to Netflix, then you get to see Arrested Development. What I see happening is they start to create original programming that people want to see, and they know people want to see because people are already watching it. Then they'll, they'll do a, a, a premiere or, or a higher end subscription, maybe two or three dollars more a month at 20 million you know, subscribers a month, if you get half of them, that could be anywhere from 10 to 30 million dollars more in revenue a month. You know, not a bad deal. Uh, so I see the future of marketing, the future of business is in developing a following. You know, and I always like to say the term, you know, getting people to drink your Kool Aid. You mm -hmm. know, that can be taken in a bad way, I guess, if you remember the Jim Jones stuff. <laughs> but you know, crazy what you see a 15 to a 15 year old kid that's talented uh, who is aspiring, see, seeing what you've done, and they're like, I want to be in it next independent film. What would I say to somebody who's just getting into the industry? Mm -hmm. I would say uh, create your craft and uh, develop a, a following. That's exactly it. If you want to do this and make money at it, you have to get people who will purchase your product. One of the things that we've been able to do, which I think is very exciting, is we've uh, been very good on social marketing with a lot of help from your firm, actually getting out and connecting with other people who are like-minded. They're in every industry and in everything that you're doing, there is somebody who likes what you do or somebody who wants to do what you do and will pay you for your knowledge or pay you for your product. And the idea or the question is how do you reach these people? And I believe the future is social marketing. Uh, I'm actually doing a big commercial for you and your firm, I think, here more than anything else. But it's you the truth. That, Tracy. <laughs> well, it's the way it's going. It's it, the, you know, if it's you could future. start over today, what would you do differently? How would you leverage oh, boy. connecting with an audience? And then, that's a hard question. Internet age. You know, the question is, is if I could start over today. Um, well, life is experience, and you don't get to where you are without experiencing the things you do, and you learn from these different experiences. So, would I change things? No, I wouldn't, because I've learned from every 
failure in every attempt that I've ever had. Now, if I was just stepping into the industry with the technology where it is today, my goal wouldn't be so much the traditional distribution like we're, we're doing now. My goal would be, or my aim would be where we're going now. We're, we're actually in 2012 or, and, and going in 2013, we are changing the way that we're going to do our business and it's going to be more direct sales. Again, building an audience, you know, querying your audience. What is it that they want? What is it they like from you? Why do they like you? You know, give them the product they're looking for and they'll buy it from you. There's a an author, I don't know if uh, I can remember the guy's name, but he sold a million, one of the first guys to sell a million books on Amazon. Are you familiar with him? Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that he did is when he when people would buy his books, he would email them and send them newsletters and saying, what is it you liked about this book and what would you like to see in future books? They would tell him, this is what I like and this is what I'd like to see. He'd write a book giving him that. What happened when he did that? They buy it and they tell their friends about it and they buy more. You you know? So understand your audience, who is your audience, identify your audience, and give your audience what they're looking for.